There's a lot wrapped up in who we are, our cultural backgrounds, the towns we call home, who we love, our access to healthcare and good jobs, and the barriers we face. The intersection of these identities affects our experience of what it means to be healthy and safe. This is called intersectionality. For the Women's Foundation of Minnesota, understanding intersectionality helps us better understand how women, girls, and gender expansive people might be affected differently depending on their intersecting identities. This informs our community investments and maximizes our impact. For example, let's take a closer look at the life of Aurora. Aurora is a disabled mixed race young mother and college student from rural Minnesota with a transgender child. In our society, these identities mean that she can face a lot of barriers. All people have different intersecting identities. Sometimes these identities help people to connect in positive ways, and sometimes they lead to discrimination. This shapes how each of us, including Aurora, is seen and treated in our daily lives, as well as what kind of support, resources, and even jobs we can get. Women's Foundation of Minnesota considers intersectionality in our grant-making, research, partnerships, and policy change because it helps us better evaluate and support the work that can lead to transformational change. How does this work? The first step is to analyze problems and solutions across gender, race, place, and other identities. Then, we co-create, learn, adapt, and implement solutions with communities who are most impacted by barriers. Considering the intersectionality of communities strengthens outcomes and creates better futures for everyone. We encourage you to learn more about intersectionality and use this lens in your own life and work so that all Minnesotans can experience life in a more equitable and just way.